Are you thinking about moving to Encinitas or even living here full time? I'm gonna show you everything that you'd like to know that I wish I knew back when I moved here. Hey, this is Travis Chatwin from Beach and Sun Homes and welcome to another episode of North County Vibes where we're gonna show you the who, the what, the where, the why of everything Encinitas. If you don't know much about it, it is a sleepy beach community here in North County, San Diego. And it's a beautiful space with all the beaches, the restaurants and everything all around. Now it's technically north of San Diego in North County. And we're actually just south of the Carlsbad area and just north of Cardiff by the Sea if you're looking at a map. One of the draws of the community is the beach. And for me in particular, I'm an avid surfer. So I'm out there every single day. Our access to the beaches are like no other in the world. And technically the beaches are some of the best beaches in the entire area, if I may say so myself. But the best part about it is that they're perfect. The sand, the salt, the air, everything is great. Now, as far as proximity goes, we are in the middle of everything. We are close to the desert, we're close to Mexico, and we're close to LAX, which has and provides international flights, which is fantastic for a surfer like me. I get to go everywhere. When speaking of Mexico, I have a house down in Mexico. I shoot right down across that border. We have a great time and it is safe. It is safe, everything is beautiful. So when we're talking about desert, that's a lot of fun. We all got desert toys around here. Here. Don't think for a second living by the beach is something that we aren't participating in that desert fun and it's close. So one of the greatest parts about Encinitas and the location is that we're a couple hours away from snow. If you know me, I love my snowboarding. And a couple hours away from Big Bear, which is two and a half-ish hours away, we've also got Mammoth, which is roughly six hours away. You have to check those out because that is a good time. One of the questions that I get all the time, living in San Diego versus living in Encinitas, what are the differences? Well, the true differences are we get a little more space up here in North County. We are close to everything. And we're always a highway away as far as travel goes, but at the end of the day, it's all about a little more space. And did I mention those beaches? So at the end of the day, Encinitas is a true lifestyle town. We can enjoy the beaches, we can enjoy the exercise, and let me tell you, people enjoy the exercise. With all the paths that they built around the area, we get walking paths that we're able to go north and south, up and down the coast, which is beautiful. Now I'm gonna warn you, if you move to the area, here are some of the hobbies that you're gonna be taking up. Whether it's skateboarding, surfing, bicycling, and now I've just bought an e-bike, which opens up a whole nother territory for us. It's all exciting. Point being that living in Encinitas truly offers an outdoor space. So though our homes may be a little bit more small for the price, the outdoor living space I call my backyard, which is that big blue ocean, we're able to play all day, every day, and that's what we love. Now you got an idea of the location and the area, let's talk a little bit about the characteristics of that area. Downtown Strip is really just a tiny little area that has shops, has bars, has restaurants of all kinds. Starting at Lucadia, which is a little more eclectic, coming down into the area of Encinitas downtown, we've got all kinds of shops and a redevelopment area that has really taken on its own. What most people don't know is that Lucadia is actually part of Encinitas. It's a little subset of Encinitas and a little town that shares the same zip code. Lucadia is a little funky for most people that drive through it, but it's become one of my favorites. And above and beyond, it's got the larger lots to offer on the beach coastal. Most people don't really know that Lucadia actually starts around the La Costa Avenue area, which is just at that South Ponto Beach area, which by the way, offers a open fire pit at night, which is a great, great deal to take your family. All the way south to Swami's area of the southern tip of Encinitas, which is a fantastic spot. You're gonna see palm trees, all kinds of restaurants, and something that you'll definitely wanna see up and down the coast. Although Encinitas is a suburb of San Diego, we are a hopping little area with all kinds of activities. It may seem small, but in the grand scope of things compared to San Diego, it's a tiny little space. So now that you got an idea of the area, let's talk a little bit about what you get for the money. We get homes that are beautiful. And as I said, the lots around here are pretty fantastic compared to some other beach communities that I know about. The homes that we get are, you know, all the way from the five, six hundred thousands, all the way up into the tens, you know, 15 millions. And really what we get is a wider 
array of homes. Now, depending on your area, it really depends as far as what you're after for bedroom counts, bathroom counts, and that square footage. As I mentioned before, the smaller the square footage, we can always take into account the outdoor living space. Now, the Encinitas housing market as a whole is very competitive. Many, many, many people want to live here. We want to stay here, and we love where we live. So at the end of the day, it really matters who you work with. Now, when you get in a competitive market, you really have to have certain strategies in place so that it makes sense when those offers are being presented as a human being and not just a hand typed data. Now let's talk geography real quick. As far as where you're looking at Encinitas at a map, the closer you get to the ocean, obviously the higher price tag. You can expect to pay between 10 and 15 million on the ocean. And as you start to go east, prices do taper down a little bit, which is important to expand your search area and offer more product. There's great homes out there as well. So don't be afraid to look a little east because everything within Encinitas is really close to the beach. What prices can you expect east? Typically around the 1.2 range and up, but it just depends on that square footage. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this is everything that helps you understand what we have here in Encinitas. Go ahead and contact me anytime if you have any questions and subscribe for our next video coming up.